Hi, Jordan here. Today I decided to talk to you guys about the series that I've been reading called Sweet Magnolias. Before I do that though, I thought I'd talk to you some about mine and Lauren's friendship. So we've been friends for several years now. We met in college and we decided to make this to stay in touch. And so this is like my video to her to let her know what Sweet Magnolias is about and then maybe she'll want to read it and maybe she won't. It's a pretty long series, but also, another thing we do, we send each other packages back and forth, and we've been writing letters to each other back and forth, trying to stay in touch and feel like we are not hours apart, even though we obviously are. So, about Sweet Magnolias, it is by Cheryl Woods, and it is an 11 book series. So, if you're one of those people that commits to series like I do, like make sure you're aware of that before going in. Also, there is a new Netflix original series about it. So I don't know if you've watched it, but it's kind of like a romantic drama type series, kind of along the lines of like Gilmore Girls or Heart of Dixie, if you're interested in either of those. But so the series doesn't start like just with book one. Each book is about different characters. And so like the first book has one female lead role and then the second book has a different one and so on and so forth for all 11 books. Uh, so the Netflix series starts with the first three books and it like goes from the beginning and it kind of includes all the people. Also, I apologize about the virtual background so you can see that I'm being cut out. Uh, I thought it was nicer than looking at my computer room. So. I really liked these books. There were books that I liked more than others, and I think the reason why is because I connected with some of the characters on a deeper level, whereas other of the other characters I didn't really have a deep connection with. I didn't relate to them in any way, but they were still good books. They just like weren't as good to me as they were, as some of the other ones were. Something I really liked about this series is almost every book discussed an issue that I think is like a super important issue to bring up in everyday life to talk about that not a lot of people like want to talk about or even really know how to talk about so like in the first book spoilers by the way there will be spoilers from here on out in the first book um maddie and cal start dating and stuff and they talk about the divorce and how the problem is in town with him being a teacher of her son and so they talk about that problem and as the series goes on more in-depth problems are discussed things like infidelity and eating disorders domestic violence both verbal and physical so if that's something that triggers you you might want to steer clear of this series it's just mentioned in a couple books but they do talk about it some health issues are discussed but then there's all like the positive things that come with romance, good feelings and everything like that. They're really fluffy books. They're happy and they end on high notes. There are no sad endings in this. Everybody that is a good person seems to get a happy ending, which is something that I really like. I don't really care for, you know, sad endings or people dying or things like that. And so everything does have a happy ending, which is really nice for me. Uh, if you're more of a realistic person, these are not super realistic books, but they're fun to read and they're upbeat and they're positive, which I think is something that everybody can use these days. But so that's just my little blurb on these books. If you'd like to know more about them, if you have questions or if you have any uh, suggestions on anything we should read next, Please don't hesitate to, you know, let us know and see you next time.